Yes. Action. <laughs> okay, my name is Turtle Only, and on behalf of the Black Age Comics Movement, Lamoris Richmond, Eric Battle, and Stephen Harris, I'd like to invite all of you to Afrowear for this informal conversation, signing, and presentation on comic books, illustration, and the commerce that is connected with the movement that we refer to as the Black Age Comics. Without further ado, here they are. Passing the talk on stick, man. Okay, uh, I'm Ed Steven Harris. I do comics. Hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm the author and the artist of uh, this book, The French, or Brotherhood of the French. What the story is about, uh, my first article, what the book is about. It's about a young woman who is a journalist in a nation that's been occupied by foreign power. And she uh, works for a, a certain insurgency group called, called French. Uh, when, she, when she's found out, she's discovered, and she's apprehended or uh, arrested. And she is uh, brainwashed and transformed into a living weapon a weapon to be used to, to seek out and destroy her, uh, this French insurgency or her friends and comrades. So uh, that's what the book is about in a nutshell. Should I go into more, more about myself? Could I do also? How'd you get started? How'd you get started? How's it going? I got started in comics uh, by, uh, by doing, by uh, becoming, uh, becoming the assistant to Dennis Cowan in the early 90s. Uh, also took classes in comics outside of college uh, with uh, Michael Davis and, and the Children Park Carnival in Harlem. And this prepared me to go out and to to prepare samples and do storytelling and when I prepared samples I mean I did a four to six page sample of a of, of company's character like Marvel DC and I uh, drew uh, I uh, photocopied these pages photocopied these pages and sent them out to different different comic companies and at some point you hope to get you know, hope to get some, a call back or some work from these from these companies. I have been a job for this film company called Personality Comics. Personality Comics. And they did some, they did um, celebrities, whether it's sports figures or, uh, or actors and actresses. My first just to figure I did was Rick Henderson, a uh, baseball player. And I did an awful job in that school, my first job. I took on two months and I did it in three and a half weeks. Uh, but then I got better, I did another job for them a few months later for Jimmy Payne. Page and Led Zeppelin, uh, Zeppelin uh, about well about two pages Led Zeppelin and then I finally got a job with DC doing a loose ten page story and this is like ninety two ninety one ninety two and um, I've been doing you know decent so ever since I mean, my highlight of the career was doing man they gave uh, doing Aztec for DC Comics prior to that I uh, was built to that prior to that I did a job for Motown Comics Motown was doing comics that was founded by Michael Davis after he left uh, Milestone Media, and I did a, a book called The Crush, five issue of the series, uh, which led to me getting asked to these comics. And so, um, so uh, I've been doing comics pretty much, uh, not ever since, but since up to 1999, uh, mainstream comics up to 2000, and then I started doing storyboards for commercials, and then I started doing my own comic book, The French. And that's uh, my biography, and that's how I was more professional. Any other questions we'll pass on the area? Uh, good, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Eric Gow, uh, illustrator. Uh, presently, I've, uh, I've been working in comic books for about uh, 15 plus years. Uh, uh, most recent, some of, uh, one of my most recent projects has been uh, this book, Time Storm. Uh, with Marvel Comics, and uh, it's a four-issue miniseries. Uh, this is the third issue here. Uh, but I've worked with Marvel Comics, I've worked with uh, DC Comics on various various projects, Green Arrow, uh, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, uh, The Spectre. Did an uh, eight-issue 
mini series with uh, one with the Spectre. Um, and some some other work that I'm most proud of is uh, oh yeah, <laughs> drawing Batman. <laughs> Can't forget that uh, drawing Batman. Working on a, uh, another uh, science fiction project presently with uh, George, uh, author George R. R. Martin. He's a, a huge science fiction um, genre author. Um, working on his project uh, Wild Cards, and I also do work with a an African African American uh, writer, uh, Ellie Banks. She writes a uh, Vampire Hunters novel series, and uh, I, I do work with her. And uh, it's, it's it's work that I'm some of the work that I'm most proud of because you know her books are her books are fantastic, and she's just a great great person also. Um, and she lives uh, close by to me. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, this is this is some of the work uh, that I've been doing over the years and. Um, uh, be, beyond doing the, the, the comic book illustrations uh, work, I've, uh, I've also worked in, uh, I've done, done some children's book illustration, uh, some fashion illustration, uh, started out doing editorial uh, illustrations for some of the, uh, some, uh, some of the Philadelphia newspapers. And um, when, when I was doing that work, it was all leading into getting back into comic book, uh, doing comic book work. Um, but with the, I found that doing the fashion stuff, doing the children's book stuff, and the editorial work, um, I was looking for work that I could employ all of my skills. And uh, so I looked at comic books and was like, OK, well, in comic books, it, it encompasses just about everything you you learn, uh, you know. There's architecture. There's graphic design. There's fashion uh, illustration, and, and you know, all incorporated into one into one medium. So, um, it, you know, it's exciting work, uh, and I, I enjoy it. I enjoy being able to work at home, uh, and you know, it's uh, it's been fulfilling. Uh, so, like right now, again. I, it's it's been nice working with some of the bigger companies and everything, um, but uh, w one of the things that I'm looking towards doing in the future is working on some of my own uh, ideas and, and getting those out out there. So hopefully by say this time next year, I'll have you know uh, a good uh, portion of my own work uh, ready to show. So. Uh, any questions? Uh, yeah. hey, I have nothing to say. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> um, hey, everybody. My name is Lamoris Richmond, and I am a comic book writer. Um, I've created uh, titles such as Canton Kid. Purge, Black, Red, and Deadly, and Jigaboo Devil. Oh, get the book books up. Jigaboo Devil, of which I'm probably most famous for. Uh, I started my career working for Now Comics in Chicago, and uh, my very first job was writing the real Ghostbusters. And, and that was a lot of fun, working with um, Dan Aykroyd's characters. I've written Shock Horror from Boots of the Oppressor to uh, stories that were absolutely so violent that uh, when you, you see the books in the stores, it would, it would be wrapped up in plastic <laughs> and behind the counter, like liquor, because they couldn't let anyone uh, under the age of 21 look at the books. 21. Yeah, that's when I created Canton Kid, because I was doing all this really adult material, and I thought, oh my goodness, I want books that anybody can read. So I created a martial arts series, and, and when the stores, when they came out and found it, on that shelf behind the counter because they were just convinced that, oh, well, Morris will fat and it's got to be ultra violent and it went behind the counter too. Um, but it's not, it's a lot of fun. And so is writing comics and working.